Hey guys, welcome back to Make That Sea Change. Paul here with you again, and this is my series covering over the Wealthy Affiliate Hub. Now, the Wealthy Affiliate Hub is a platform within Wealthy Affiliate, which is the pr program that I use to help me set up my own online businesses. Now, today we are continuing our journey. Now, in the last video, we finished off talking about social media and because we've been following the path to success as we've been running through these videos. Now, what I'm going to do now is leave the path to success here um, because now it just wants us to start putting content up, which as we've talked about a couple of times within affiliate marketing, it's about creating content that is helpful to the, to the reader, that can solve their problems, and you're coming at that from a, from a point of view of showing your expertise or knowledge within that, that niche. So I'm not going to sit here and make you go, or I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me go through build seven posts and then website comments and domain emails, etc. We'll come to that later on. But what I want to do is as we're starting to look at our posts, I want to take you through some of the other aspects that the hub has to help you along those lines. So we've already talked about the first um, structure that came up with the with the website as we started it and you know the 10 most popular horse breeds you remember we created that as our very first post and we have lots of other options here that we can that we can look at now this has all come up based on the fact that we set up our niche on horse riding now that has determined what has come up here you know choosing the right breed for you for your riding needs, pros and cons of owning a thoroughbred, exploring beauty of Arabian horses. You may or may not choose to do posts on any of these depending on how you've decided to adapt your site as you go along. Now we created the best, most popular horse breeds for beginners. That was how we created our post. And then our review post that we did was on beginner saddles. So if I'm taking this path, this down the path of beginners, then I can look at this and go, okay, well, I can just change these keywords to be about beginners. So the gentle giants are draft horse breeds good for beginners or something like that. We could change that there. And then over here, we can see that we've got horse riding techniques with a whole more and whole new array of posts, horse care and health, which might be a good one. Ultimate guide to horse nutrition, what you need, you know, what you need to feed your equine or ultimate guide to horse nutrition for beginners. You know, that could, you know, or and you, hopefully you're getting the point, I won't go for beginners at the end of everything, but you can see how you can use that information there to advance your, your content. Equipment and gear, now obviously we've got saddles. So we did the saddle review, you might wanna write choose, how to choose the right saddle. So that is how beginners know how to choose the saddle. And then you link that off to the review of the other posts you did and that links that all together and gives them a good path to purchasing that saddle. Um, protective gear for riders, so again, for beginners, all this sort of stuff. Now, as you go through all of this, eventually you might run out. So, what we have down below here is some more niche, re niche research ideas that are a little bit based on here, but can allow you to break it down into different types of posts. So, under our niche research, which is basically the <coughs> the, con the stuff that I want to talk to you about today, it gives you the option there to create all of your post ideas and curate them to, to match into what you want it to do. So let's have a look through each of them. Um, you know, and I'll show you in a couple how we can then go to the keywords and, and see if we can make it a bit better. So blog topics and ideas. So horse riding helmets for beginners. So they're straight up. It's talking about beginners. We don't obviously have that in our initial list because I didn't use beginners in my initial niche thing I just did horse riding but as you can see how now it's starting to break down essential horse grooming tools choosing the right horse riding boots understanding horse behavior cues these are all really good ones for beginners so we can now look at that and go okay well essential horse grooming tools so let's go to Jaxi and see what that looks like as a keyword so essential horse grooming tools that takes a couple of seconds because it's going off and finding all that information. So what we're doing here is we, as a refresher, when we looked at this in our first post a couple of videos back, but what we're doing here is we're going in to see whether these keywords are what people are searching for and whether it's good for us to write a post on it. So essential horse grooming tools. So we can see that you're gonna get an average 32 viewers per month, six, 
um, sorry, there's a number of, um, that's how many people search for that keyword a month. That's what traffic you're gonna get. And there's 23 people, 23 sites that have that same sort of information. That's a pretty good one. Um, is there anything higher there? Horse grooming tools worksheet. That could be good. If you put the, talk about the tools and then put a worksheet underneath it so they can go through and go through the worksheet to make sure they've got everything covered. Horse grooming tools. So just horse grooming tools, 542. Quite a bit of competition there, but we know we're on the right track. Let's see how that works for beginners. So not a lot of searches of that, and a lot of people have that. So I'd probably, well, that's woodworking. Um, you know what, it's, I don't know, it's, it is something I think you need. Um, horse grooming, um, essential horse grooming, let's go tips. Horse show grooming tips, horse, horse grooming tips. Horse grooming tips and tricks. Um, no, nope. so what else can we call tools? Um, needs. Supplies. You know, brushes. There's a lot for individual things. So based on that, horse grooming tools, with that there, I would actually, I would create a post on that. You know, best horse grooming tools for beginners. Beginners itself didn't have a lot, but it does have that main keyword in, and also it does keep your website on that, this website on that theme of beginners, which search engines and the like do like, because they can see that you've got a pattern and you're providing more than one post and a lot of information based on that same thing. So I would, I, you could do that there for sure. So there's your horse rhyming, you know, tools, helmets, etc. So that's given us some ideas for there and you can see how we can use the keywords to refine that a little bit or just make sure it's worthwhile. Unique content ideas. So this is starting to, if, you, you know, if you're getting a bit of writer's block and just trying to work out what you can write about, unconventional horse riding styles, bear horse breeds for riding, rare horse breeds for riding, hidden gems in horse training, obscure obse uh, equestrian accessories. There you go, that could be an interesting one if you're, if you're just trying to you know, branch out and find something a little bit different. Um, that could, that there, you know, that that could be good um, accessories and gifts. You know, just break that down a little bit. Gifts for um, people who are doing that. Horseback riding experiences, mysteries of horse behavior decoded. Um, you know, they're, some of these you need a little bit of more expertise, like that one, for example, but they're unique ideas. They're ideas a little bit to left field, that if you've got a bit of writer's block, there's some ideas that you can look at there. Best off top 10 ideas. Now these are really good ones if you're doing lists or you're trying to give people a, a, you know greater ideas or tips. Tips are, are good too. So top rated, top rated horse riding boots, best horse riding helmets, we've already looked at that. Expert recommended horse riding gloves, top choices for breeches, best all round saddles, highly recommended horse riding jackets. Um, you could then break each of those down for 10 tips for choosing the right horse riding boots, 10 tips for choosing the right riding helmets, 10 tips for choosing the right gloves, breeches, saddles, 10 tips for choosing the right of each of those, and then you branch off into reviews from there. So it, again, it's giving you ideas, like, and listicle articles work really well in search engines because search engines look like, okay, well, that's quite helpful. Write it from first person, you know, I chosen these tips due to the fact that I've been riding horses and list your tips there. So there's your best off top 10 tip ideas. And then we go to round up topics. So top dressage trainers test that share their insights, expert tips for jumping, insights for horse care specialists. So yeah, I would change that to 10 tips for horse care specialists. Um, experts advice on grooming for shows. So all those sort of things, you know, just sort of breaking it down and giving you the opportunity to show your expertise in, in the field, because again, that's what search engines like, that's what gets you higher up in the rankings, that's what gets people ticking, clicking on your post, and that's what gets people purchasing from your affiliate link. So expert and roundup topics are another very good way of doing your posts. Ultimate guide. 
this will be the ultimate guide. Advanced dressage, equine nutrient for performance horses, cross country, jump, cross country jumping strategy and tips. Again, there's a, quite a, a large array from this. And this again comes back to the fact that I just said horse riding is my niche. If I'd have done horse, like show horse riding or equestrian riding or horse riding for beginners here, then these words here would be a lot different based on that niche that I've got. So if you wanted to go back, if you haven't created your website again, or you just if you're in a premium membership, which you will be by this stage if you're looking at this stuff, create another hub and just do it, do it differently. Just do a different niche and it will give you this whole information again on that sub niche that you can create, I think three or five hubs as a premium member. So just create another hub, change your niche at the bidding brand it slightly, and then you've got a whole nother tool which can create you a whole range of new topic ideas on your narrower section. That's another good way to do it. Uh, checklist and to-do list. So we've talked about this straight away, essential safety gear for horse riding checklists, checklist for proper saddle fitting. So checklists are really good, anything that has a tool in it. So what I would do here is I'd actually merge this with something I said before about 10 tips for proper saddle fitting or 10 tips to, to properly fit your saddle and then put this checklist in that post. That's how I would do it, but you can do them as separate posts if you like. Again, just giving you ideas, opinion articles and ideas. So opinion article ideas, that won't click over there. Oh, there we go. The ethics of competitive horse breeding practices. There you go, they're, they're really strong. If you're a high expertise in this area, impact of biteless bridles on horse welfare. So you probably won't be writing these ones without some good knowledge and some experience. Do not use AI to write something like this. It will, the search engines will see that a mile away and, and not rank them. Um, but if you've got some good knowledge, this is again something that can, that can help you skip through that and get that information into your website. So that's your niche research section. So basically what we're doing is we are using this to come up with more content ideas for our website. We've got our initial run here. So with our initial run there, we can um, go through and if you exhaust all that or not all of that matches, because as I mentioned, we create our niche originally based on what we know at the time, but as we get deeper into it, things might change. So that if that doesn't work, then you can go down here, you've got topics and ideas, unique content, best of, roundups, opinion, ultimate guides, and so on. A whole nother range of posts for you there. And you can go through, go in and check the keywords, make sure they're right, and keep adding your posts. And before you know it, you'll have your seven posts written. That's it guys, hope that was helpful. As I mentioned, that's the niche research section. Next one, we'll talk about keywords and SEO research, which will follow in from this a little bit. If you have any questions or comments or need any help, again, please comment below. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel as well. Have fun next time. I'll see you, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.